Hello, hello. Hey, today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite products that can be used in untraditional ways. We're going to be talking about all the different ways you can use your pressed powder with your makeup look. Let's go check it out. Use it to set your concealers and primers. I've already used Mary Kay's cream eyeshadow brush to apply Mary Kay's perfecting concealer in Ivory One and now I'm going to set it with sheer mineral pressed powder in Ivory One. It helps control shine and excess oil for eight hours and helps blend out my concealer smoothly. With Mary Kay's smudger brush and pressed mineral powder in Ivory One, I'm going to apply it right underneath the arch of my eyebrow to contour and lift my eyebrows. Now with Mary Kay's all over eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna use the pressed powder as a highlighter eyeshadow and apply it to my brow bones. Using it as an eyeshadow helps minimize the appearance of lines, enhances luminosity, and delivers a sheer color. Mary Kay's Sheer Mineral Powder formula applies really smoothly and imparts natural looking finish. So I can use it as a really nice sheer matte eyeshadow in the corners of my eyes, on the eyelid, or even use it to help blend out my eyeshadow and help set my eyeshadow. There's the finished look on how it turned out on my eyes. I'm going to use the Mary Kay Cheek Brush. And because this pressed powder is translucent, silky, and luminous, it makes a fantastic highlighter. I'm going to apply it to the top of the cheekbones and up above the eyebrow, just to give a little bit of an eye lift. Because pressed powder helps provide a longer lasting wear to my makeup, I'm going to use it to apply to the bridge of my nose as a highlighter. And because it doesn't settle in fine lines and wrinkles, I'm going to use it around my cupid's bow, my upper lip, and my lower lip. It's also infused with vitamin E, so it's a great influence on your skin. Last but not least, you can use it to touch up your makeup or set your makeup. I'm using a little mini blending sponge here to touch up around my nose and also to help set my makeup in the places where I tend to lose it the most. And since it imparts minimal color for a natural looking finish, you can use it throughout the day for touch ups. I can't wait to hear from you. What tip are you most excited to try? And did I forget to mention one? Drop it in the comments and let me know. Thanks for watching.